Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. This week I thought I'd talk about how I create some NPCs for my D&D &D campaigns. For those who don't know, I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons now for the last few years and have been a dungeon master for the last six months. I took over a campaign when it fell through um, a little bit and I didn't want to lose the team so I ended up being the dungeon master and since then have created a wide variety variety of characters for not one but two campaigns. This is a really good way for not only for me to flex my storytelling muscle but it's an also a really really fun way to create interesting characters and sometimes I do get a little bit stuck so I use NPC generators every now and again. Uh, most of the time if I want a fully fleshed out character I will build it from scratch but sometimes uh, the, everyone wants to talk to everyone so you have to come up with a character on the fly. So a really good way is to use NPC generators. Now the one I'm using here I'll leave a link to down below but this is a really good way to have a quick character build up um, to give you some quick stats and build up from there. If you want a proper character sheet there are some other fantastic um, NPC builders which I will leave uh, down below like that will give you very quick sheets for like fighting um, there's also some fantastic homebrew uh, stuff out there that if you ever want me to delve into in the future let me know in the comments section down below because I certainly would love to do this but NPC generating can be really fun and NPCs stand for non-player characters and these are um, characters that the player characters would interact with and these NPC generators are absolutely fantastic for character designs and you know me I absolutely love designing characters and giving them really fruitful backstories and this is a really fun way to have a base character design and build up for the future it's also a really fun exercise in character design. As I was saying, it can be a really good way for you to uh, practice doing different characters that you would not normally do. And this NPC generator is fantastic because it gives you a small description of the character, gives you their alignment, and then you can build up their story from there. Um, I've used this one a few times. It's been a fantastic tool for me to build up some very quick characters. And then I've been able to flesh out their backstories more from there. So... I thought this would be a fun thing to show you guys because you guys could also use this as well um, to be able to create fun uh, NPC characters or fun characters and use them for practice. So I'm just doing these all very quickly in my sketchbook. Um, I think in the end in this video there's going to be six in total of lots of different types of characters. It gives you a really good way of being able to flesh out something that you will not normally work on. There is male, there's female, email there's a uh, croakers uh, goliaths there's so much on here and the good thing is with these generators if you want a halfling but you're not sure what the look you can generate from there and it's a really fun exercise in character design i highly recommend it to anyone so since I last talked to you guys about D&D, I used to tell you stories about my two D&D characters, Zilla and Lula. Unfortunately, both of their campaigns have fallen through, um, but I would like them to live on as characters in my current campaigns. I run two campaigns which are completely homebrewed. Uh, we do a mixture, uh, it's mainly 5th edition rules, but I mix a little bit of 3rd edition and uh, Pathfinder rules in there as well. Um, this is because I find the fifth edition rules as a very loose basis and we do a lot of homebrew mechanics from that um, this way it makes it a lot more fun for the players i have two teams of players who very who play in very different ways one team is very um, role play heavy. They really enjoy discovering things, talking to people. Uh, they're more for the RP than they are for anything else. So I build up their stories through there and they have a very fleshed out world, very character based um, and they're able to do fun storylines through there. And they're pirates, which makes that a lot of fun. It gives me a chance to really work on mechanics with them and since they were my original original team they have played a lot longer than my other team my second team they they are um they're 
more puzzle based than they are RP based or um, dungeon based. Um, they will be a lot more dungeon crawling, um, a lot more mystery solving and they'll have a lot more puzzles to solve than the other team. This is just because of the way that those players behave and the way that those players are. Now I can't reveal too much about story bases because I have the entire campaign fleshed out fully um, and twists and turns I end up making a lot of the stuff up on the spot just because the players will go to places that I do not anticipate but this is what these character um, quick NPC generators are great for. Sometimes you'll have, um, you'll be saying, oh, you know, you see some guards walking through and the character will go, well, I want to go and speak up to those guards and you're like, oh no, I need to quickly generate this and this is a fantastic way of doing that. Quite a few uh, dungeon masters will use these tools um, to their advantage Advantage. I have a monster generator, an NPC generator, um, and I'll have a dungeon map generator currently. I do build a few of my own um, for the teams as well. And this can take up a lot of your time. And if you're thinking of getting to D&D, I do highly recommend it. Um, as a DM, I've been able to play around with storytelling, been able to flex um, with my creative skill and have a lot of fun doing that. It has been 100% the best thing that I could have done. I really enjoy being a player, but there's something special about being a dungeon master that I have not experienced while being a player. Yes, it can be a little bit more difficult, but I technically still get to play alongside my players. Um, I get to be the NPCs in their world. And the, because the way that the both teams are, I have player characters that do play alongside the teams because that's what they want. And I really do enjoy that. It's a way for me to insert a character into the campaign that they may be missing from their team. For example, say if one team is missing a healer, I'm able to bring a healer into their team. If one team is missing a tank, I'm able to put a tank into their team. But I don't let that player character no, I don't let that NPC, sorry, uh, run over the entire campaign. The player characters are able to do whatever they want. This character is just another side character that plays alongside them. Um, doing D&D has been so much fun for me that I have just completely and utterly let it take over my life. I, I'm a dice gremlin. And this is a side that I don't really talk about on YouTube, but I have so many fun D, D stories to tell you that I would love to dive into them into the future and tell you all the stories about these mad, uh, absolute crazy characters, as well as share some of the NPCs that I have been building. These guys are completely random and they are totally going to end up in the campaigns at some point. So uh, I know my player characters are watching out there. I am watching you. Look out for these guys in the future. They definitely are going to turn up at some point in your campaigns. Um, but the one thing that I've really enjoyed has been creating these characters and their backstories. Um, I find it it's a really fun way because I love character design so much to really play around and do lots of different things. Um, it forces me outside of my box a lot of the time. I end up drawing a lot more males than I used to. And you guys don't end up seeing that a lot because it's stuff that ends up being on the back burner. I don't really tend to show a lot of it. And I think it's a shame because there's some really fun stuff in here. There's a lot of like really creative stuff that I'm very, very proud of. I never thought I would end up drawing lots of really fun fun character designs and here I am having the time of my life doing it um, and this is something that I'm going to challenge to you guys as well. I'm going to put the link to the NPC generator down below. I want you to randomise the NPC generator. You can have it any particular way you can set it certain ways if you wish to that is absolutely fine but i want you to create a random character using this npc generator it's a really fantastic exercise for you to not only play around with character design um, and i know i'm repeating myself with this but it's a really good exercise for you it is such a fantastic way it fills up your sketchbook with lots of different things that you would not normally work with and in the future say if you do play DD, you could totally use them or if you don't mind i totally would love to use your characters in my campaign i adore designing them but i would love to have some like little um 
uh, snippets here and there of like fun characters that people have made and if you do end up t um, doing this like tag me in them online i'm on twitter on instagram um i'm on tumblr i'm on pretty much everything or share links down in the comments section down below i would love to see what characters you generate um or even share me your D, &D characters if you do play in D, D, whether or not your character your game is on hiatus games that are finished I love seeing people's characters. It makes me so happy to hear about people's stories. And that's been one of the lovely things about when I've been at conventions. People have been sharing their character stories. Or I've been able to draw like lots of people's D&D uh, &D characters and fall in love with them just as much as their players have done. I think it's so much fun um, to do. And even if D&D isn't your thing, if the Dungeons and Dragons isn't your thing, I know a lot of people can't get into it, haven't found a team yet, or they're just not interested. It's a really good exercise for drawing, especially with character design. I will keep reiterating this again and again in the video. Um, it's a really fun way to do something that you would not normally do and step yourself outside of the box. And... This was the final character design I ended up doing for this video. I could totally go on forever and do tons of these um, fun NPCs. I really love this particular character design in particular. Um, I have a tabaxi captain in the uh, pirate campaign and I love drawing her a lot because of all the shapes, the swirls, and it gets me thinking about like how I can break down those shapes in particular ways. Um, but in particular, all the character designs I've done with this uh, particular video, I think she is my favourite just because of the shapes. I think she's got a really nice shape to her. Um, and this is just down to, like, if you blocked her character out, it would just look really nice all. Um, it's a really fun way to um, check if your uh, silhouette is right. Her silhouette is really, really nice and I really like her a lot and maybe quirky dream will end up in one of my future campaigns even though all these guys are and i know my players are watching i know my players are <laughs> um I've got so many fun stories to tell you about these guys um in the pirate campaign there was a part where um these guys ended up raiding a ship and came away with paper mache cannons um <laughs> there was a part in the other team where one of the guys yeeted a goblin into a tree and exploded um, there has just been so many fun moments and i'm really glad that i got into D D, and i have to thank my uh, old dungeon masters for that because Without them and without Critical Role and Adventure Zone and all the D&D um, &D podcasts that I've listened to over the years, without them I would not have this fantastic storytelling tool um, in my hands. So it's coming up to the finalised illustrations now and I'm going to show you what each one of these look like. And I really do think that anyone, um, even if you aren't into D&D into &D or if you have uh, just want a fun exercise in character design, should really, really try this out. Um, this NPC generator, it is simple. It is very, very easy to use. You can use it on your phone, on your tablet, on your computer. And it's a really good way of just exercising with character design, especially if you want to try out stuff that you would not normally do. So a few final looks over all the characters. I really did enjoy drawing them. You, when I do my sketchbook tour uh, later this year, you're gonna see a lot of a lot of NPCs from all my games in there. Um, I've just had so much fun creating them and making their stories that I just wouldn't have it any other way. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Maybe like, comment, or subscribe if you're new. Make sure to leave all those beautiful character designs down below. And as always, folks, stay creative.